we have a tight circle. Like, I could call my friend right now and say, girl, this is my purse there because I left it last night. I ain't seen this in years. She going to be like, yeah, girl, your purse right here, the purple one. You lied to that man. Told him. What did you tell him the charge was? Allegedly. What did you tell him the charge was? Shoplifting. It's believable. Meanwhile, you somewhere leg up. Yeah. One arm on neck, one arm on front, one frontal, frontal off. I didn't even have a frontal. Frontal was off. You know, I, I think the thing that's the most disturbing about this is that, and this is kind of a new thing, I think, but the thing that's most disturbing about this is the level of transparency that they have with complete strangers and on the internet. But then they'll spend so much time dedicating themselves to a lie instead of just living in the truth and not even being in a relationship in the first place. Why do, why do women specifically feel so comfortable spilling their guts to large platforms or on TikTok or on the internet or, you know, right here on The Breakfast Club and stuff like that? I don't understand that. Like, what is this debauchery that we live in? What is this time that we live in where there isn't even any shame? You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, is one thing that to, to deal with the fact that no, you absolutely trash. And the fact that, you know, you opened up your legs to another person and then you went back home to the person that you said that you loved and the person that you opened up your legs to got it in five minutes with the other person has dedicated five, probably close to five years in dealing and dating and courting you. And then they feel comfortable enough to come online and talk this nonsense as though it's cool. Like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for kudos are you looking to feel good about yourself are you in a space to where you feel like you was right do you feel justified what makes you this comfortable coming online and saying this and what are you looking to get out of it are you looking to monetize it are you looking to be the queen of all of these hoes out here or something like that i'm just really weirded out by the fact that people feel so comfortable talking about how bad that they are and it's just cool and they know what's going to happen. They know the comments is going to go crazy. They know that they're going to get criticized. They know that they're going to, you know, be shamed or whatever. Hopefully, I don't know. Now it's getting to the point to where people are feeling comfortable enough to not even be shamed. They they got cheerleaders because I guess it's a bunch of other people that's doing the same thing that's in the audience or in the comments. It's weird, man. And it was great because I had, <laughs> I had time to, like, really be able to, you know, get myself together. Because, you know, cheating, you can't come home smelling like soap. You know what I mean? You I don't know. know anything about that. Black men don't cheat. Flip that phone. True, that is so cute. Well, women cheat a lot. And um, it was good for me <laughs> because I was able, like I had that whole Sunday they had, you know what I mean? It was just good. They ain't nothing like laying up with your side joint. I'm not sure if there's anything more heartbreaking outside of something happening to your actual kid. That the person that you land next to every day is the enemy is nothing, especially as a man. Like, these are masculine women. And when I say masculine women, I'm talking about women that are living in their masculinity wholehearted. I mean, you might as well be a dude. You might as well throw on some overalls, get on a farm, and then pick some pears and and some cotton while you at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, laying up with your side, dude, like, you spending quality time that is wild to me that women just live in a masculinity like that. And the worst part about it is that dudes be so dedicated and they, so, they be so immersed. Because here's the difference between men and women, right? Often at times, you know, women are so interdependent on men for their happiness that they notice every little thing. So I believe that's one of the ways that it's easier for men to get caught um, when they're in a situation. Right now, also on top of that. Most guys cheat out of opportunity. They're not necessarily cheating because they're emotionally attached to a woman. Now, when you start to get emotionally attached, now you didn't cross the line and you went into a whole nother space, right? But women often at times will be emotionally attached or they will absolutely give everything over into that dude that they land up with that don't even care nothing about them and is going to put them out of the crib. It's, they trying to figure out how they can get them out of the crib as soon as they have that uh, that clarity, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they will lay there and treacherously, treacherously lay there next to the other dude and will be acting like any and nothing ever happened. It is it is crazy how women are moving uh, in this masculine type of role nowadays and, and feel comfortable enough to come online and talk about it. 
and be looking at you like, you know what I'm saying? And, we, you know, you just want to keep them talking. So you're like, yeah, I feel you. But at the same time, you're thinking to yourself like, you just disgusting. You disgust me. And then, and then, look at Charlemagne's face. And, and then here's the worst part. They think that they deserve a good man. They think that they deserve a good man and they will be on Clubhouse. They will be on some panel. They will come on the show and they will be talking all of this nonsense. And I am just absolutely, truly disgusted by these people. I am deeply disturbed <laughs> shot, right? everything I just heard. Back Jesus in the day, Christ. I As cheated a, a bit. black men oh who don't God. cheat. You black men, do you hear what's going on out here? This is hurting me. Black men out here just being the best possible versions of ourselves. Women not are cheating. so good at cheating. Like she and this is why if you catch a woman that you give your last name to, <clears throat> or you in some form of a committed relationship talking about you thinking about marrying her, especially, and listen, especially if you are in what you would call, because see, I'm different. <clears throat> I think it's a difference between being married and being in a committed relationship. I think either you're single or you're married and it ain't no in-between because there's nothing stopping you from walking away from that situation. If you are in what you would call a committed relationship and you find out that your girl is doing this, never take her back. Never take her back. Now, I know it get way more complicated and it's a completely different conversation when you're talking about somebody that's married, got kids, because now the ripple effects of whatever happens, you know, you got to be a little bit more calculated. You know, it's, it's, it's more rules to the game. You got to make sure that you ain't giving, giving up half of your stuff to somebody that don't deserve it. You know, it makes it a little bit more complicated when you're married. But if you're in a committed relationship, meaning that you're courting for marriage or you getting into a space to where eventually this may be the woman that you have kids with or that you may marry, cut it off. Never go back to it. Don't look her up. Unfollow her. Like, just cut it off completely. Because if she feels comfortable enough to do that, then you cannot ever in any way, shape or form give her your last name. You cannot ever have children with her. And I keep telling y'all, having children with a woman is 10 times worse than getting married to a woman because now you tied to that woman for the rest of your life. You can't just walk away. See, if you marry her, first of all, you can get an ironclad prenuptial agreement. But often at times, women leverage family court as far as child support and being tied to that kid against you for the rest of your life. You no longer have ties to her if you just want to cut her off and get divorced from her. But if you have kids with her, it's 200 times worse. And people do not understand it. I don't know how they're not catching it. And women like this are feeling comfortable enough to tell your business and put it all out there. And now we live in an age where women is not even shamed anymore. They're not even trying to hide it no more. Thankfully, that is a good thing for us because it's teaching moments and opportunities for us to have this conversation. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Women cheat a lot. That's what she's saying. Translation, in my eyes, women cheat way more than men. They just don't get caught at it. Uh, and I've heard this a lot, but it's no way for us to, us to statistically prove it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Have women absolutely crossed the line in their mindset and operating in their masculinity but can't detach themselves from the fact that they are a woman, which means that it just makes it more egregious when they do stuff like this. And I, I just couldn't. There's no way I could ever subject myself to something like this. Let me know in the comments what y'all thought, what y'all thoughts are. Um, and also tap into the Patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift.